Hey everyone, welcome to um, how to. I'm gonna do a how to set up a mud crab pot. This is what you buy at Anaconda. You get, I think it's four for uh, 50 bucks. You just click them in, like so. Right, then. You're still gonna have your float, six mil uh, rope, and your name and your number on your floats. I won't show you my number because I don't want to get phone calls from people. And when you go buy these, go buy bait hooks. These are bait hooks. You've got clips like that. I've seen a lot of people just throwing the bait in the pot and the crabs will just come from angles. So I've just got a bit of marinated uh, chicken drumstick and fish oil and a couple of fish frames stick them in the pots tie them up then with this I've seen people go like that like that always grab your your rope twist it back like that And you tie your rope on with a bowline. Well, I don't know if you will know bowlines, but you could learn how to do it by Googling it. All I do is go around, back through, through the hole, and that's your bowline. All right, I'll catch you back when I show you what creeks to pick to put your pots in. Okay, as you can see, there's a creek here. You can tell this creek's a big creek, it flows in. How it's got the steep banks, that's what mud crabs like to make their holes and um, they like to feed along here eating all the shellfish and stuff so what I'll do is I'll put the crab pot in the channel of the mouth so when the current comes through it's going to push the scent up and hopefully wake the crabs up out of their holes to come down to the pot so what I'll do is I'll throw it right here in the channel try to get it flat always like that and then because there's a snag there you want to throw your float up in a tree if you can like that, but we'll be back in about half an hour just to make sure all these pots um, are getting tangled up and all that when you lose pots. Got a tire crab Go up around the bottom of the back flippers under his body, his armpits, oh, under his body, yeah, through his claws. It's easier with big crabs because they can get through those claws, flip him over on his belly. Tie underneath, two wraps, give it a tie, give him a shake, and he'll lift his claws in. Let me just go this one and tie. Done. And that's your mud crab. Okay, first things I want to run through is with your mud crabs, and you turn them over. If you can press in, in these inside bits of these legs, the crab's soft and it's probably got no meat. I don't know if you can see in there, but at the back of the shell, if you can push in there and that's soft, uh, the crab pretty well doesn't have any meat or the meat that's in it is going to be like jello like. Uh, also, to point out, with the male, you'll have a, a point like this. With a female, you'll have a arch like that. And there's different measurements for females as what there is for males. Depending on your state, if you can keep uh, females in the territory, we can. And the legal size limits for uh, males is 13 centimeters in the Northern Territory and it's 14 for females in the Northern Territory. And I'll just show you where you measure from. This crab's a bit oversized for this. But it's from this point here to this point here. And it's gotta be 13 centimeters. So as you can see, this crab is 13 centimeters is the inner one. And as you can see, that crab is probably 18, 19 centimeter crab. So that's quite a legal crab. And if you're interested in getting a crab measurer, um, hit me up on uh, Hunting NT Facebook group. 
and uh, I'll organise a way to get you a Mudzilla uh, measurer. If you live in other states, um, go over to the Mudzilla mud crabbing page uh, group. Sorry, um, it's a very big group where everyone shares their catches of mud crabs and all that. So go hit them up over there um, if you're in the other states and you're after a measure of your state. Um, yeah, well, and I hope you all get out there and you uh, catch some mud crabs, some big ones like this. Because this will be a great feed. And uh, hope you have a great weekend.